From Crema Media in Johannesburg, this is The Real Economy Report. Logistics services multinational DHL Global Forwarding has opened a new facility next to the Oratambo International Airport that will enable it to provide services for high-value goods and time and temperature-sensitive products. Skulk Berger tells us more. DHL Global Forwarding has built a new facility next to the Oratambo International Airport in Gauteng. The modern facility has cold chain storage and logistics facilities, which is especially relevant for the growing life sciences and healthcare market in Africa. DHL Global Forwarding Sub-Saharan Africa and South Africa CEO Clement Blanc discusses the growth in the market and the company's new facility near the Oratambo International Airport. In many countries, including South Africa, there was a, a, a lack of proper cold storage facility, especially for those vaccines who need to be kept at minus 70 degrees. And uh, this market of pharmaceutical is actually massive in South Africa, but also in Africa in general and it's lacking solutions in terms of logistics. So that's why when we decided to build our new facility, we, um, we, we, we decided to, have, to invest massively also a part of that into a cold storage, state-of-the-art facility to support our customers and to support the populations in order for them to get proper access to the right medication at the right temperature. When we decided to invest in a new facility, uh, we realized that the location would be critical uh, for the, for the uh, success and for the quality of our service to our customers. Uh, we do move a lot of high value products and also sensitive products in terms of uh, uh, the, the temperature. Uh, the advantage of being here is that we do have access to the, to the back gate of the airport. We got access, we got approval to have that access. So basically, we, we are very proud of saying that we have, we have the fastest uh, uh, turnaround from aircraft landing into Johannesburg or Atembo Airport uh, for the goods to be in our warehouse. So we have the fastest. So in terms of cold storage, it's extremely important because uh, we need to make sure that uh, there is no break in the chain, but also in terms of safety, because we then don't have to go on the main roads and uh, uh, it reduces a lot the risk of hijacking. And our customers, especially in the technology field, who have very sensitive product in terms of security, they want a guarantee of security. And this is what we can bring to them by being in this specific location. Local airline Flysafe launched its Refresh branding, which also includes a collaboration with five local artists to decorate the aircraft interiors. Skulk Burger has the story. Flysafe Air revealed its Refresh branding on a Boeing 737-800 new generation, the 25th aircraft it has welcomed into its fleet. Flysafe Air Chief Marketing Officer Kirby Gordon talks to us about the project and local aviation demand. Customer experience has always been something that's been incredibly important to us and, and obviously that's about getting the basics right but it's also about creating a little bit of additional magic where you can. Um, and so we wanted to try and do something a little bit different within our, our interiors, within our cabins to ensure that we created something beautiful and something interesting to look at when you're sitting within the aircraft for two hours on, on your way from Johannesburg to Cape Town for example. Um, and we saw this as an opportunity to really try and celebrate a little bit of our heritage and a little bit of the amazing talent that exists within South Africa. So, you know, the, the opportunity just sort of seemed so obvious that we could take uh, work that celebrated South Africa by amazing South Africans and put it in this space so that we can all enjoy it. I think at this stage the South African domestic market is at about three quarters of what it was pre-COVID. Um, unfortunately we've had a few dips uh, along the way with the with the uh, removal of certain carriers from the, from the market. Um, but we're back up to about that three quarter mark now which is great. But it's clearly not actually sufficient in terms of what's out there. The demand is outstripping it which is wonderful news. I mean it means that the economy is back on its feet. It's good news for tourism. It's good news for so many other aspects of, of the industries that we're involved in and that we touch. Um, so we hope to see that continue to grow and we know that uh, you know the South African market can quite comfortably or did quite comfortably accommodate about 1.6 million seats a month. Um, we're at about 1.2 at the moment as an industry so there is still scope for about another 25% growth um, and hopefully we can achieve that sooner rather than later and feed the, feed the industry. That's Creamer Media's Real Economy Report. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy. And don't forget to listen to the audio version of our Engineering News daily email newsletter.